Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Digital Storm and I'm Dennis. Today what we're going to do is set up a PLAS control panel on DigitalOcean VPS server. So the first thing you need is go to DigitalOcean.com. If you haven't already set up an account, go ahead and so, but if you have, hit the login button and it will take you to a page similar to mine. Now, Plask is a good control panel. It's similar to like Cyber Panel, C Panel, Virtual Men. There's several panels to choose from CWP. So, there's all great panels to help you with your web server. Now, this on DigitalOcean is kind of like Vulture. They both offer this as a one click install, make it easier. In order to this, we're going to go down to where it says Marketplace. Click Marketplace. It will bring you into their one-click applications, and there are several to choose from. Of course, you can see Plask. You can just create Droplet right here, and it is started up. But what I'm going to before, I'm just going to show you some little details about it. It's installing version 18.0 on the operating system, Ubun 20.04. Now, if you want to go down later and see all the software that's being installed and the versions, you could do so. We'll just go over create Plask Droplet. It is that simple. And it'll bring you to the page. Go ahead and start picking all of your details on this. Of course, as you can see, what it's trying to install, we're going to choose the basic CPU. We're going to choose the regular Intel. But you got an option of premium Intel or a premium AMD. Basically, both of these cost 20% more than the standard and they come with a higher clock speed better performance overall and i've used actually used those on my uh one on digital storm but for this tutorial the regular intel is plenty actually it's still good for a small website uh, or several small websites so it's nothing wrong with the regular plan go down to data center region pick the data center that's closer to you your clients or audience i'm picking new york number one and for additional option i'm going to pick the ipv6 and monitoring of course you can set up an ssh key but in this and we're going to password and type in your password that will comply with whatever their requirements are make sure and try to remember your passcode not write it down you can choose a host name but i'm going to leave this for this tutorial what it automatically assigned and of course it says one droplet is all i'm doing you could enable backup and of course it does uh, recommend it but you know i not want to enable it. it's going to be another additional 20 percent on top of this six dollars so it's going to cost two dollars more a month hit create droplet and it will bring you this page anyway it's it's installing let me hit pause as you can tell it's installing a, a plask right now on the ubuntu and into our operating system then when it gets completely installed okay everyone you see that we got it it installed now and it gave us an ip address and what we need now is go into a terminal if you're on a mac computer go up to search light or just this little search bar and type in terminal if you're on windows you can download putty at putty.org and use that and, and once you get into your terminal which is similar to mine we're gonna have ssh root and of course i've already went in and basically accepted the risk on this so didn't have that in there at the time so it's going to ask you it says something about it not no and when it does ask you just type in yes it's okay accept the risk and it'll bring you this passcode type in the passcode that you enter earlier and it will well apparently i don't even remember the passcode i think i typed it in wrong again we're gonna see oh, there we go and it'll bring you to the site and it tells you that you're running or have access to plask panel in digital ocean and it tells you a one-time login link will be generated use it to access the plask control panel administrator and 
you can use this if you're not in root to sudo plus login but we are in root so we don't need to put sudo in front of it just type in plesk login and click enter as you can tell it's going to give us two different versions to use we're going to use the bottom version that will come with the and we're going to click copy we're going to open a new page we're going to highlight it and we're going to paste and go now it says connection isn't private of course you know that uh, as you can see it's unsecure they just uh, warning us microsoft edge and google chrome is very similar to this and you can type in this is unsafe and it will go ahead and bypass it and go we're going to accept all cookies of course it as for administrative name and y'all can put whatever you want in email and i'm just going to put the as vortex as, and then you can set up a passcode so just set up a good passcode and for this and i'm not going to worry about setting up a major one because but you know the higher it is the, the stronger it is the better it is so click enter i did not meet their particular requirements so let me this again there very strong let's hope that met their requirements of course you might want to enter your user agreement if you need to read it now it's starting it up it's setting up plus control panel it's configuring the web server and it's securing the server now and here is the uh, man I, I i'll be honest with you i've been playing around with it for a little bit and i really enjoy plask i was surprised i've been as everybody knows been on the cyber panel for a while but cyber panel is kind of glitchy at times and i you know even though it's got that redundancy i, I kind of like but it it seemed like it's too much redundancy and and this plask it seems like it's a simpler uh, way of doing things and of course you can go ahead and install a website and domains mail and we're going to every one of these and we're going to go through it all in future in in the series that we're going to go through with plask and digital ocean but for right now this is how we install the one click plask on digital ocean vps server so y'all just need y'all click and subscribe. Hey, give me a thumbs up and comment below anything that y'all think I need. And watch me on future videos on this series.